What's up, runners? My name is Veronica. I'll be your coach today. Welcome to Ibex Running. For today's workout, we have a beginner 15-minute progressive workout. So it's a short workout. It's a quick workout. You can bring this in any part of your day. Get it in. Get it done. And you're going to feel good for the rest of your day. So are you ready to get started? We're going to start with just a nice brisk walk here, anywhere from a 2.5 to 4.0. So let's pick up that speed a little bit, just warming up those legs. I want you to get yourself adjusted to your treadmill. Every treadmill is a little bit different, whether you're doing this at home on your treadmill or maybe in a gym. So if you look over here on my right, you'll see all the different stats that you're going to need in this workout today. All right, just getting that timer going for you guys. So you'll see all the different stats. It's going to show you the speed and everything and what the next speed that we're going to move to throughout the workout. If you look over here, you're going to see the progression of how far we're getting in the workout. Remember, 15 minutes, we're going to be quick in and out. So I want you to get mentally prepped for this workout like always, right? Think about what you want to accomplish. Focus in 15 minutes, all right? I like doing progressive workouts because it's a great way to sort of warm that body up and start testing your limits. Start pushing that speed a little bit more and more as you go in and your body gets really ready for those runs. So we're gonna move in more to our warm up here in 20 seconds. We're gonna start with a run, anywhere from a five to a seven of that speed. We give you ranges, right? So that you can pick where you feel the most comfortable. All right, while also challenging yourself. So anywhere between that five and seven, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. And remember, this is just the warm up, right? So if you want to start on that slower end, that's perfectly fine. All right, let's just get into our rhythm here of our running. Nice deep breaths in, slow exhale. You'll hear me talk a lot about breathing. I'm a really big stickler on that. We need to breathe, it's essential. But also, it helps a lot when we're running. It helps calm ourselves down. It helps bring that oxygen to those muscles, releasing out. The CO2, it's good, right? So we want to make sure our breathing's rhythmic, our running is rhythmic. Here we go. Excellent job. So with our run today, like I said, we're going to be progressive. So every minute of this workout, we're going to bring that speed up. All right? My range that I'm going to give you is going to go up by 0.1. Now every minute you could go up by 0.1, or you could go up a little bit more than that if you want, but I want you to try to go up at least 0.1. I mean, there's nowhere else you could go, right? So that way your run is getting progressively faster and faster all the way to the end. Keep in mind, right, it's only 15 minutes. All right, and that includes our warm up and cool down. So this whole workout is only taking 15 minutes. All right, we got less than a minute to go for this warm up. Excellent job. Let's think about that form. Right, make sure you're light on your feet. Pick your body up nice and tall, right? When we're hunched over, it makes it hard for you to breathe. So bring those shoulders back and down. There we go, swinging the arms, nice and smooth. We're gonna take it back down to a walk to finish out this warm up. So back down to that 2.5 to 4.0 in 10 seconds here. Excellent job, let's go in five, four, three, two, one, so let's take it back down to that walk. Excellent, don't hold on to those handlebars, right? Stay tall, grab a sip of water if you need it, because once we start running, Max, we're gonna keep it going, all right? That run is coming up right after this warm up. all right? So, 45 seconds left. Like I said, if you need that water, make sure shoelaces are tied, you're ready to go, and we're gonna go straight every minute, bringing up that speed just a little bit. 30 more seconds here. Excellent. These really are my favorite workouts. You get to really, really test those limits, push those boundaries. This is gonna be a fun one. 15 seconds, runners. Now, for our first range of our run, I want you anywhere from that 5.1 to 7.1. That's a big range, all right? So where do you wanna go at the start of that? Here we go. In four, three, two, one, hit that speed, let's go. And you're gonna stay at this speed for one minute, right? 60 seconds, think about that form. I like to start, when I think about my form, start from the center and go out, right? So we wanna make sure that core is nice and tight. That's controlling my body, keeping everything facing forward. 
Then I like to think about the upper body because my upper body actually controls the lower body. So if my upper body is relaxed, my arms are swinging forward and back, same thing with my lower body. It'll be relaxed, swinging forward and back, get that cycle in, lift that heel up and through, stepping over that ankle. And then lastly, let's think about those feet. I don't want to be slapping the ground, right? Hit that ground nice and light, quick and powerful to keep that cycle going, pushing my hips forward. You got 10 more seconds, and then we're going a little bit faster. All right, even if it's just point one, that's faster. Three, two, one, let's go. Pick up that speed just a little bit. Excellent job, runners. First one is done. If you're really feeling good today, like I said, you can pick that up as much as you want. You see that range over here. There you go, so now our range is 5.2 to 7.2. So make sure you're in there. Good. And last thing we want to think about always, that breathing, right? In through your nose. Slowly exhale out the mouth. That's it. This is one of those feel-good runs, right? Because you're easing into it, stepping into it. You got something to entertain yourself knowing that you're going to continue to speed up each minute. So it's not just mindless running where I'm telling you, oh, we're just going to go run for 15 minutes straight. You got something to challenge yourself. We're going up in that speed in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up one or more. Come on. That's it, runners. Nice job. Here we go. We're on that third minute. Excellent, excellent job. So we're between that 5.3 and 7.3. I like. Just inching it up a little bit more, and then by the end of it, you're so surprised at that speed you're going at, right? If you started off at that speed, maybe that would have discouraged you, or maybe that would have scared you a little bit. But then at the end, you get there, so now you know you have the confidence that you can run at that faster speed. So now you know for the next time, you can start faster, right? That's what's so great about these ranges. It can continue to improve yourself by repeating those workouts, and it can keep challenging yourself. Here we go, we're going into that next run in four, three, two, one, let's pick it up. Pick it up, right here, anywhere from that 5.4 to 7.4. There you go. Everybody runs a little bit differently too, right? So if you notice, here's my feet, I run a little bit more on the balls of my foot or midfoot. I don't really like the heel strike, but everyone runs a little bit differently. I used to be a sprinter, so I run a little bit more like a sprinter. Run what makes you feel comfortable, but still allows you to get off that ground quickly to keep that cycle moving. All of that is important. We wanna hit that ground and then power through it. Push it behind you, away. 15 seconds, your runners. There you go, how's that breathing? Still gotta think about it a little bit. Here we go, next run in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, pick it up, one. One or more, one or more. 5.5 to 7.5. There we go, runners. Love it. Nice, smooth, even breathing. Keep everything relaxed and controlled. Right? Running is something you are fully controlling. And the best way to keep yourself moving, most important, is to control your motion. Control those nerves. Get excited by the possibilities of what you can do in this run, in this workout, and how good you are going to feel after. That's always the best. That runner's high. I want to hear about that runner's high in those comments. There you go, you got 10 seconds before you start picking it up again. Here we go, in four, three, two, one, pick it up. There you go. I know, one minute when you get to the end of that minute, it's when you start to get comfortable with that speed, right? And then you're like, Bronco, now I gotta pick it up again? Yes, because if we always stay where we're comfortable, we never grow. So we always gotta keep pushing that discomfort not discomfort where you're in pain, 
and you're hurting yourself, but discomfort where you're pushing yourself. You're fighting a little bit to keep that speed. That's how we improve our stamina. That's how we're able to run longer. That's how we're able to run faster, run more efficiently. All of that comes into play when you push those boundaries. Excellent job, runners. You're doing so great, come on. You got 10 seconds before we change that speed again. Let's start getting pumped up. Here we go. In four, three, two, one, hit that speed. Runners, you got five more minutes left of this workout. Four more minutes of us running hard in that one minute cool down. What do you wanna do in those final few minutes? All right, start picking up that pace. Maybe point one isn't enough. Maybe go point two, point three. That's your choice, but listen to your body. Where are you at? Are you breathing heavy yet? Are you sweating? Are you challenging yourself? Let's go runners, come on. You're doing awesome. You have to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Think about that for a second. There we go, 15 seconds, and then we switch. Bringing up that speed. Keep pushing that pace, runners. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, hit that speed. Hit that plus button. Get excited of those possibilities. That's it. You gotta envision it. You gotta want it. You gotta want it for more reasons than just to get fast, right? Find that deeper reason that you decided to jump on this treadmill or go out for a run. Clears your head, stress relief, helps you feel better about yourself, wakes you up, right? Running can actually give you energy, which is funny, right? Because I'm using energy to run, but it actually gives you more energy to get that body moving. Here we go. Relax those shoulders, right? When we start to get faster, when that fatigue starts to build up, that's when we start to get tight, our form can fall apart, so always bring yourself right back. Pull it together. Here we go, we're bringing up that speed again in five, four, three, two, one. Hit that plus sign, let's go. Let's go. Come on, you should still be anywhere between that 5.9 and 7.9. All right, you got two minutes left. Let's go. Nice, slow breathing. Fight here with me. All right, get into your rhythm. I know your cadence, your run, your cycle, it keeps changing, right? Because we keep picking up that speed. That's a skill for you to learn. How to start changing that and getting back into a rhythm every time. Staying smooth, runners. Yes, come on. 20 seconds and then we hit that plus sign one more time. You got it. I want you to stare straight ahead. Don't look at the timer anymore. All right, I want you to feel it. I want you to become more in tune with your body. Last speed up here. In three, two, one, let's go hit that plus sign, come on. Progressive run here. Test yourself, challenge yourself. Under 60 seconds, how far can you go? Anywhere from a six to an eight right now, let's go. Come on, we got 45 seconds, countdown. Has started, end of our run. End of our workout. Fight it with me, come on. Stay smooth, hold your form together, that's so important. 30 seconds, hold it. Show yourself how strong you've gotten. Show yourself that you can handle the speed. You gotta motivate yourself, say those things to yourself. Come on, let's go, we got 15 seconds to the end. Let's go runners. Yes, Ibex, come on, 10. This is it. You're gonna bring it down to that cool down walk. In four, three, two, one. Bring it down two to four. Take it down. That's it, runners. We're gonna cool it off right here. Always important. After a run, we don't wanna just stop. We don't wanna sit, we don't wanna lay down. We wanna keep those legs moving, right? Because we just elevated that hurry. You just challenge yourself. You just brought yourself out of that comfort zone over and over and over with this run. 
right? Every time you got comfortable, I made you bump it up. All right, but you did it. You made it through that 15 minute run. Runners, so impressed with you. Focus on that breathing, right? Deep breath in, slow exhale, open up that chest a bit. Let that air come on in. Awesome, awesome job. You got 20 more seconds here with me, but if you wanna continue this cool down, keep yourself moving, please feel free to do so. Right, I'm so proud of you runners for getting on here, coming running with me, getting your 15 minute work in. I guarantee you, you feel better, right? I guarantee it. And you're gonna feel better for the rest of your day because you got your body moving and you sweat it out. Here we go, three, two, one. Awesome job. Thank you so much again for tuning in with me for our beginner 15 minute progressive run. I'll see you next time on IBEX Running.